Hey guys, Anna here, and today I'm on Benthal Road near Stoke Newington Common in N16. Surprise, surprise, bringing you another buyer renovation project. The owner here bought the property from us in 2014 and saw the potential that this home had. Since then, he's brought it to life and created it into a two bedroom garden home, which is super modern. Excited to show you this one, let's go. So coming straight in, the property is split between two levels. We have the bedrooms up on this side and the extended kitchen diner down the bottom. But let's check out the bedrooms first. But before we do, the first thing you notice as you come in is the elevated ceilings. Super high ceilings, but also these great internal windows, just allowing some light from the front of the property to travel to the back, but a really smart way to do it. And it just looks really, really nice. So let's go and check out the master. Now this is just a really pleasant room, isn't it? Clean, crisp, and just really beautiful, beautiful features. That ceiling rose, I don't know if you can tell on the scale, but it is huge. It's at least a meter in width. And then with the original cornicing, it's also in place, as well as the picture rails, and a really beautiful, beautiful fireplace that he's put some gorgeous plants on just to make it a nice focal point in the room, but a really gorgeous ornate style tiling. The owner's made great use of the alcoves on each side of the chimney breast by putting on these clean, crisp, bespoke wardrobes combined with these lovely shutters to close in what's a huge bay window, letting in tons of light, but keeping it very private. All in all, a really lovely room and very quiet as the street is extremely, extremely peaceful. So coming out of the master bedroom, we've got the second double room here, which was the original bedroom when he bought it as a one bed. And it is a really good sized room, bespoke wardrobes again, pretty much matching the other bedroom, even the original features, picture rails, cornicing, and the beautifully large ceiling rows. So fun fact, the front bedroom and the back bedroom would have been the original Victorian's reception rooms, which is why both benefit from the ceiling roses. And then you have the gorgeous sash window, which you get a sneak peek into the kitchen extension. But don't cheat, we are going to see it now. So now we're down from the bedrooms. Before we go into the extension, down here we have what used to be a cellar. And the owner has converted that now to a really useful utility space and made it very cool with the tiling as well. And along here, we have the main bathroom. Really well finished, like the style he's gone for, the herringbone white style tiling, the matte black style radiators as well, and got to love a good chunk of marble in a bathroom. But for me, my pet peeve is bathrooms with no windows, and this one has it. So thumbs up, great bathroom coming out of the bathroom, which has also got underfloor heating that runs through the entire low ground. But here's the exciting bit, the extended kitchen and diner. I mean, look at this, LED lighting under the quartz island, which is by the way, very wide and very beautiful, simple style kitchen. No handles, just clean, flush. And again, the quartz worktop carrying on over here. Beautiful down lighting just to set the mood. And here is a very useful light well, which is just to allow light to continue through to this space, as well as the bedroom, but a really handy area for your bike storage, which is what the owner is currently using it for. All appliances built in. And then you've got the solid wood flooring, skylights here, just allowing tons of light to pour through. Plants absolutely loving life. But for me, I mean, the, the wow factor for me was these ceiling to floor glass sliding doors that work both ways, but the glass goes from corner to corner. And as you can see on an October day, the sun is just gleaming through. So let's go and check out their lovely garden. So coming out into the garden, it is super low maintenance, pretty much graveled or patio at the front. And it's around half one in the day. And you can see the sun is just beaming in, completely uninterrupted as it moves around during the day. So perfect sun trap in the winter and in the summer months. Really good size as well. And what's interesting is the neighbors here have built 
a really cool outhouse, more than likely a studio, which just shows the potential of what can be done in this garden too and still have a reasonably good size outside space. So that is the end of the tour of another buyer renovation project. Fantastic two bed period conversion with a garden. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to our channel.